Uh, Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chad Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original, and the copy of the yeah. Passport. What's happening? Patna boy. Patna. Patna me ja. Parva hai to baad me ja. Lekin hamari bhi hai kai. Maine kaha baad me ja. Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi boss. Koi baat nahi le lo. Chup. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aao. Chalo me jaane. Aise hi lo. Aao. Rukho. Saale. I distinctly remember saying, stop the bus. Yes, stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my words. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? That it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Mm. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
It will be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! Should I stay or should I go? Well, you give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplour. <laughs> Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. RJ Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. No, we'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm? All right. With this, with a smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother, your mother, on the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you. In hindsight, and too much distance has built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. <laughs> Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's see it. It's been fun. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help. From your diaphragm! Help! help. Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! We'll find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now... Please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. What the fuck? I don't really want to hurt you. 
I only want to listen. And, you know, people tell me that I am a fantastic listener. So if you'll just tell me who your friends are, what it is they're planning, and when it's going to happen, we can avoid them. Now, we already know you've been spying on the compound. So how do you know Ajay Gale? What does the Golden Path want with him? Sorry. Hey, babe. Hey, listen, I'm in a meeting right now. I can't really talk. Yeah, you know, it is stressful times over here. We've got a new client, and I am not sure he's going to buy it. No, I, I will call you as soon as it is done. I don't think it'll take much longer. Yeah. How are the girls? Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. Give everyone a big kiss from me, okay? I love you. I love you, too. Okay, bye. You know, I would retire here if I could. But the missus, she would... She would never understand. Like a few years back, my company started downsizing, outsourcing all of my work to third world shitholes. Like, well, look, like this, actually. And that's the end. I'm a desk jockey. Me. I fucking hated it. I got sent home for, for stress leave. And there I am, my wife at work, my kids at school, and I'm sitting on the couch every day, staring at that idiot box. But that's when I saw him. Dr. Phil. Do you, do you have him up here? Dr. Phil? <sighs> Amazing. He says to me, and I remember this very clearly because it, it, it really stuck with me. If I'm going to be really happy, I have to find my inner truth. <sighs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> and I realized that I need to embrace the things that I am good at. Which, unfortunately for you, is this. That's good. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be the best me that I can possibly be. If I have to follow that work halfway across the world, that is what I am gonna do. I am off the couch. I am supporting my family. I am the fucking man. My face. It's a good smile, right? You know when I say I can do this all day. So. Ajay Gale. My name is Sabal. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Darpan? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darpan would understand. Now stay close. Shit, they know we're here. The door! Quickly! Ajay, with these doors open, I need you to keep your head down and make a run for the truck. Move as fast as you can. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. One, two, three! Okay, here we go. If you're hearing this response, 
Driver's dead. Okay, listen to me. Look around. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. You can do this, Ajay. The sun is the Disappear. me calling to you. Fantastic. You really are an excellent listener. Look, no hard feelings about the crab rangoon. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but you'll be pleased to know I had the chef executed for his incompetence. Or was it his family we killed? <laughs> Regardless, next time I can promise you a better spread. That's the last time I'm kidnapping a fucking TV celebrity chef. <laughs> Honor to meet you, son of Mohan. I'm amazed you made it all the way here on your own. Sabal is waiting for you near the tower. Ajay, you made it. Namaste. Good job, son of Mohan. Why are you guys helping me? You're the son of Mohan Kali. You may not know it, but that name carries a lot of weight in Kirat, especially for the Golden Bath. Are those army guys still looking for me? Pagan men will stop at nothing to get you back. Damn. Some of Pagan's men managed to track us. They'll be here any second. We're in for a fight. Here they come. Hold your ground. Tough man to kill, brother. That's a good thing, right? How did you know to find me? He saw Bacon's chopper nearby. He's never down this far south, and I wanted to know why. Lucky for you, we were in the area when we got Darpan's text. Well, we're here. Welcome to Banapur, home of the Golden Path. Who's this? Where's Darpan? He didn't make it. This is Ajay Gale, Mohan's son. 
Let me understand. Dapan's dead. Hmm? And you brought me this. I'm not involved in, in whatever this is. I'm just looking for Lakshmana. We're in the middle of a fucking war. We don't have time for tourists. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him there? I'm sorry, brother. Amita's a little touchy. I'll talk to her. As for Lakshmana, it sounds like it could be a temple or shrine. But if that's the case, it's in the north. The north is enemy territory, and we can't get you there, not yet. Go and clear your head. Come find me when you're ready. Hmm? <gasps> Fuck! Give him some morphine! And turn off that fucking radio! What happened to him? He fell. Pagan floods the airways and we have to endure his bullshit. Enough is enough! I told him to climb up the old bell tower, take over the transmitters, hijack the broadcast locally. Except... I can do it. Way to step up, brother. There's nobody guarding it, but it's a tricky climb. Promise me you won't fall. I promise. I won't. Good work on the tower. We're broadcasting on that frequency and bringing the truth to the people. Sabal says I shouldn't be doing this. I am teaching you to protect yourself. Ah, the tourist. I'm Amita. This is Badra. Hi. Keep working. Look, I overreacted back there. We're at war. We keep losing soldiers, the work keeps piling up. Is there anything I can do? I'm not a soldier, but I want to help. Okay. Sure. There's a farm not far from here. Kanan runs it, but she's old, and she could use your help with some wild animals. I need you to keep the hides intact, so use this. Adra. What are you... Pick it up. Amita sent me over. She said you might have some kind of wild animal problem. Hey, Amita, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. <sighs> Wolves are a common nuisance for Kanan Farm. She's killed off a number of them, but this year they're especially aggressive, and I'm worried about her. There's a den nearby. Clear it out, huh? I think Kadan has supply stockpiled somewhere on her farm that you can use. And Ajay, skin your kills. We can always use the belts.
Hey. Badra, how are you? Good. I, uh, brought you these pelts. I thought maybe you could use them. Hmm. Is it good, Ajay? But you keep them. She has enough for her Tonka paintings. I'm sorry, Tonka what? This one is about the life of a guru. This one is about the demon Yalung. This one is about the goddess Kira. And that one is about Badra, the next Tarun Matara. The Tarun Matara is a living goddess, if you believe Sabal. It's no life for a child, being treated as an object, thing. <sighs> Thanks for your help. Later, I'll show you how to put those to good use. Ajay, would you have time? Go see Longinus. He's a friend to the Golden Path, and he'll be grateful you helped us. Longinus, you said? Yes. He's a weapons dealer and a priest, if you can believe that. Longinus is a little crazy, but if you want guns, he's the man you should see. I'll update your map. And you, you are AJ. Welcome to my church, away from church. That sells guns? Of course. Well, the meek shall inherit the earth, my friend. All they need are some good guns. Revelation 5.5. 5. It is the most invigorating read. And one of the elders saith unto me, weep not. Behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. Uh, it is I... our savior. It is our savior returned to us as a lion, a warrior. So, I started thinking to myself, when the Son of God is reborn, what gun would he use? When Christ returns to break the seven seals and bring about the rapture, he returns as a lion, yes? A lion needs teeth. What gun would Jesus choose? Deuteronomy 3247? For there are no empty words for you, but your very life. Or maybe... Revelations 1911. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger. I don't know what you're talking about. A soldier knows. A soldier always knows. For we have seen the rapture and survived it. You need guns to do righteous work, AJ. For every gun is a Bible. For every bullet, a sermon. And for every radio tower that you free from pagan's lies, I will give you something. A reward. It is the will of God. Here. This is for the first one. Banapur is under attack. We need fighters here Sabah, now. what's happening? We're under attack. Stay away. Oh, shit. He said to them, go forth into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole of creation. I wish you could remember what it was like back then, Andre. Your mother and I, with you on her hip, oh, those were the days. She was never happier than she was back then, and I should say the same for myself. We had such plans, not just for our little family, but for Kirat. It wasn't always like this. I long for those days, but then it's too late. I tried, I really, really did, but this place is ruinous. Try not to let them drag you down, Andre. Ishwari didn't send you back here for that. I'm here, Spall. How can I help? Damn it! Keep your head down and save whoever you can. I'm not far. I'll be there soon with help.
where we put Badra. Ajay, get her out. Badra, Badra, where are you? People need to see her. It'll comfort them. She's just a child, Sabal, and she's terrified. I'll take her home, and then we'll worry about the people, okay? Thank you. You're okay. <laughs> this is what we get for rescuing Ajay. We hit Paul's house, he slaughters a village. This isn't on Ajay, it's on me. We can't worry about that now. They took the outpost, and they have hostages. Fine. The outpost first. Without it, we're cut off from the others. Come. Brother, we need to talk. Sabal, what is it? I'm needed in Banapur. An emitter is focused on the outpost. So it's up to you to help with the hostages. I know it's a lot to ask, but they must be rescued before we take back the outpost. But Amita said that... The outpost is important, but our top priority should be the lives of those hostages. The people of Kirat depend on the Golden Path for protection. We cannot let them down. Rescue the hostages, brother. Hostages are safe, Sabal. You're doing your father's name proud, Ajay. This is what he wanted when he created the Golden Path, to help his people. Look, I didn't come here for my father or any of this. We could still use your help, brother. Look at the difference you've made. I know, I'm asking a lot from you, but helping the Golden Path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. We'll find it together. Thanks, Sabal. Ajay, it's Amita. I know that Sabal put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. It's okay. You're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. I just wanted to do my part. And I appreciate that, but you have to see the bigger picture. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. Protect them from what? Deplore. He doesn't like losing his playthings. Don't you see, Ajay? There was a plan, and now it's fallen apart. It will be a while before things with the crew will blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Wait until we can give you the proper support. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't... Ajay, Ajay, Ajay! Uh, yes? Awesome. Oh, just making sure you've been listening. hostages than the outpost. You're not much of a listener, Ajay, but I have to admit, you've done a good job today. Thanks. 
just felt like the right thing to do. Your mother would be proud. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? Uh, getting there won't be easy. We lost the North to Pagan Min years ago, and we're struggling here in the South. I promised my mom I'd bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Gale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Vishwani was a smart woman. You being here and helping our cause is no accident. Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana, or to accomplish something greater. Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. Now you have a chance to help us finish the work they started. Just... Think about it, Ajay. Well, Mom, looks like we're staying. Did we miss it? Dude, no! We did not just miss the action! Have we met? Man, I'm the cavalry, man. I was gonna roll him here like goddamn Clint Eastwood. I'm Herc. I heard about you, man. Taking names and writing checks out to kick it ass, man. That's why I'm here. Because you and me together, Golden Path won't know what hit them right in their faces. We are the Golden Path. Man, I do not understand what you are saying. I don't speak your language. I think what you meant to say is that uh, the Royal Army won't know what hit them. See, we're, we're the Golden Path. Dude, seriously? These guys have been giving me a lot of stank eye over the things I've been saying about the Golden Path, so that makes sense. Okay, new plan then. Preemptive cavalry, that's right. You need help, you call, we swoop in and help you, me or my, uh, uh... Golden Path? Golden Path buddies, that's right. You and me, man, new and improved tap bros, that's right, living the dream. Come on, punch it in. Boom! I went french fries, you stayed potato. That's all right. You kind of came in on the slow bus, too, but you got there, so I got respect for that. I'm gonna see you around, though, okay? Okay. Let's roll, Golden Path, homie! Woo! Okay, then. No! You're a drunk! I would not want to walk in there right now. What are they arguing about? Hagen Min soldiers are about to attack one of our camps. Amida thinks our priority should be the information the fighters have gathered. Sabal thinks saving our people is more important. How long have they been at it? Long enough. The argument never changes and their positions never move. Look, I don't want to bother you, but you're Ajay Gale, right? <laughs> Thank you for helping us. Everyone here appreciates it. I owe Golden Path for rescuing me, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just here to scatter my mother's ashes. Perhaps. But now you see what Pagan has done to this country. You are the son of Mohan Gale. Like it or not, your duty is Kirat. And your choices will carry weight. We need someone to break the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. Keep that in mind when you're in there. This is about lives. We don't act, people will die. This is about war. We need that intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPA? And if I had a choice between Burpin and the intelligence, I choose the intel. <sighs> Amita, I can get you that intel. 
We've been hearing of a major attack for a while, and then Bonapur was hit, but... It doesn't feel right. I think something big is coming, and the intel could confirm that. But we haven't heard from the camp since the attack, so... Watch yourself. Amita, I got the intel. Okay, Ajay. Now go to the other camp and see what you can do. Amita, everyone's dead here. Damn. Those were good soldiers that died. Tell me they didn't die in vain. Tell me you found the intel. It's a map of a temple or something. <sighs> okay, Ajay. This could be important. I'll check it out. And thank you. Thank you for following my lead. Paying respect to the families. I have never seen anything like this. Well, I've never seen anyone carry around their mother's ashes. <laughs> yeah. Do you think my father's funeral was like this? I was too young. But I know his death broke the golden path. Things would be different now, if he died fighting. But he didn't. He was murdered. Murdered? Oh, wait, what what happened? All I know is that he was killed in his house east of Banapur. It's still there. Maybe you could go there and find out more about him. Just be careful. That area belongs to Noah now. I have to go. It's a ball. Was that intel from the camp worth it? Did you even read it? Because I've got some intelligence for you. And it's solid. Nine of my men are dead. Good men you let die. You guys put me in a difficult position. The right choice was obvious! It's what your father would have done. That's the golden path. That's the direction we were going before he died, and it all went to shit. Amita doesn't get it. She's always put her goals first. She's underhanded, she's subversive, and she always sacrifices lives. That's why I stepped up. I stepped up. Because I knew your father, and I respected his vision. You need to learn what drove him, what drives us. Go to the monastery. Educate yourself, Archie. Uncle 
Little Pagan here, just checking in on my favorite nephew. So tell me, Audrey, who are you rooting for so far? Have you fallen into Amitar's honey pots, or have you been dazzled by Sabal's blowing locks and bad boy Charlie? Hey, each to his own. That's your lifestyle choice to make. He isn't my cup of tea, contrary to the rash assumptions some may make about my appearance. I am indeed batting for the other team. You more than most should know that there was only ever one woman for me, my boy. You are hot and smart. Your both of us is Dora Mizunku. Ah, the son of the great Mohan. Sabal tells me you're ready to learn what inspired your father. Banashur, god of gods, sang the world into existence. For that, we give him thanks. We thank the gods for giving us life. Please, take an offering basket. represents our mortality. Ajay, the intel you recovered, that map, it's the monastery. The army's going to attack your location any minute now. Stay inside. The army's coming to attack. Saved us. You are your father's son, Ashe. Thank you, Ashe. Thank you. Amida, the monastery is safe. Maybe now Sabal will see the importance of good intel. If you hadn't secured that map, we never would have stopped this in time. Good work, Ashe. AJ, my child. I was just thinking that we should work together, you and me. And now Providence has provided the means. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. That is songs. It means do what soldiers do best, even if it requires you to come to a godless country like this. As soldiers, we protect our people through our willingness to kill. And what do we need to fulfill our purpose? Faith? Guns, AJ! Guns! 
Without them, how else will we pass through the sea of trouble and calm the surging tides? Help me, AJ, and the Golden Path will receive their guns. Okay. Praise God. And the scales have fallen from the boy's eyes. There was a shipment leaving over the mountain by helicopter, but it went down. I need you to take this tracker and recover the shipment before the army gets it back. The Lord will provide you with transportation. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Now go! Go! Go, AJ! Longinus, the tracker you gave me says I'm getting close to whatever it is you need me to get. That is excellent news, AJ. But be wary when you reach the crest state. The Royal Army has likely dispatched men to secure the chopper cargo for themselves. Strike them down if you must. Or sneak in like a thief in the night. <laughs> What's this? Where are the guns? in here. Weapons. Why did he send me here? One surprisingly small box, as requested. I thought it was going to be a weapons shipment for the Golden Path. That's why I went. And it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. They lied to you. You know this. People call it the circle of life, but life is built on a pile of bones. You eat, or you are eaten. Animals call it survival. Humans call it business. Are those... Business, AJ. Terrible business. I was saved by a bullet to the head. It killed the old me, the terrible me, one you would have called a warlord. But that bullet, it made a hole in my skull that allowed the light of God to slip in, and I was baptized by the waters of Gogafoss. So those diamonds... Leviticus 17, 11. For it is the blood that makes San Antonio man for the soul. These are remnants of my past transgressions. Each diamond is a sin, and my hands have committed many. And the weapons for the Golden Path? They will have them. And better! Go! Tell Amita and Sabal they will be getting their weapons. And they may also want to know that the Blue is preparing a large shipment of opium at the old tea factory. Wait, opium? 
Another terrible business, AJ. Now go and tell them, and when you are finished, come see me, for the Lord's work is never done. Amita. Ajay, Longinus said this was from you. Thank you. Thanks, brother. He also said the opium at the old tea factory was ready to ship. We need to wipe that poison out. Wipe it out? Are you joking? We need to secure that shipment and those fields. Amita, we talked about this. Turning Kirat into a drug state is not the answer. Sabal, we have no natural resources. What happens when we're free? The mines have been stripped, the fields have been ruined for years. So we liberate our people, then what? It's not our way, it never was. You do this, you're no better than Pagan. It's morally bankrupt. Better than being literally bankrupt. I think you're right about this. I know this isn't the way things should be, but Kirat can't survive if Sabal keeps clinging to the past. Get to the old tea factory. Secure those fields. I reached the tea factory. Great, Ajay. Those drug fields are Kirat's future. We need them, and I need your help to secure them. Clear out the army, and make sure nothing happens to the poppies. And be careful. I still need your help in this fight. Amita, it's done. Excellent, Ajay. Excellent. Thank you. But I know Paul. He won't back off from the drug fields. I am sending men to help, so hold on until they get there. We're heading your way now. Army's coming in from the south. The army's burning the fields. Use the sprinklers to stop the fires! Embowel like empower. Well, that's an archaic term. It still means disembowel. What, like flammable and inflammable? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva, Om Nam Shiva. Welcome, my brother. You've come to a place of peace where the demons of modern life cannot reach you. You are safe here. Oh. 
a friend. Nam Shiva, Nam Shiva. Comes from afar, seeking, seeking answers. We can give him those answers. For a nominal fee. Right, nothing in life is free. No. I'm sensing. We are sensing. We are sensing. You want to know who we are? Right, I'm Yogi, and this is Reggie. But you, stranger, you. You're the son of a legend. I see a world of danger and, and, and a mother with a blackened heart. Hey, J. Gale. Welcome to Kuru Ashram. What, what are you doing here? This is my parents' house. Why don't you guys get out? Oh, what? Why does he want us to get out? I don't know. Ask him. You ask him. Hey, I'm right here. Oh, he's right here. Good for him. He knows where he is. <laughs> okay, welcome. Come in. Yeah, after all, two casse, two casse. Um, we'll clean up. We'll be we'll be out momentarily. But first, let's uh, have a little peace pipe where we hash out the details. You're into this sort of thing, right? You know what? I think I'm okay. So what are you guys doing here anyway? Ah, uh, AJ, we represent the interests of a certain power broker. Right, she'd like to press the flesh, as it were. A little meet and greet. You being the meat. Well, we tried the carrot. Guess he wants a stick then. <laughs> hey! What the f fuck?
walk with me. You, you tried to kill me. And now I'm not. You know what? Fuck you. Stop. Wait here. Just listen, please. Paul has my family. Until I know they're safe, I'm trapped here doing whatever Pagan wants me to do. What does this have to do with me? The Golden Path wants Paul dead. I need my family safe. We can help each other. How? I can get you back into a stronghold. Oh, and AJ. Take it easy on Reggie and Yogi. They're being played, just like you and I. How are you doing, Ajay? Ajay, I can't tell you what saving those fields means to the future of Kirat. Supplies, weapons, ammunition, vehicles, everything the Golden Path needs to take the fight to pagan men. I wasn't sure about you. That first time in Banapur, all I saw was Sabal and his puppet, but you are not a puppet, are you? But now I can see what you're capable of. What a difference you've made! You didn't see Kirat before the war. I was six years old when my parents told me that I had to marry. That's the world Sabal is pining for. He's trying to take us back to the Dark Ages. But you and I, we make a good team. Now, I could use your help to protect the statues of Kira. Paul is trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Path. I'm in. Ajay, it means a lot that you've supported me. everything you've done, but I need you to find a way to block the way leading to the statues. What? Why? Because the ball's going to waste fighters protecting it. We're fighting a war. The Golden Path has bigger concerns. more over 
over the radio. Please, come to Shanaf. It's funny, RJ. When you came to Kirat, I thought we'd clean house together. Dust the shelves, kill some terrorists. You know, Kirat could use a good spring cleaning out with the old, etc., etc. Being someone else's hired gun does not suit you, my boy. Why do you think Army Time Sabal are trying so hard to woo you? They're afraid of you, RJ. And they damn well should be. at his compound. He's vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down. AJ, did you get my family? Not yet. I'm making my way there. Okay. Look, you must sneak in. It's important. Paul is a rat, and rats always find a way off a sinking ship. He can't suspect anything until it's too late. And don't forget, AJ, he's throwing a party. So find out where he's kidnapping his meat and sneak in with him. Going after Paul. That's really dangerous, Sajay. We want him alive to pay for what he's done, but be careful. Uh, and Ajay, if you can, take pictures of his interrogation chambers. It'll go a long way in convincing people that he's a monster. Just keep your head down. Don't let them see you. Don't get caught.
Get out of here. for bed did you brush your teeth for at least 10 seconds that's my girl you gonna give your mom a big kiss for me well you know she gets lonely when I'm not there you are the lady of the house of course now you know daddy has to work so a gift sure sweetheart what did you want a ring no, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see the exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Bye, Lady Buck. I apologize for that, my daughter. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. You? Sends her regards. Noor? Noor? Uh, what? I mean, she thinks her family's still alive? <laughs> oh, man, we killed them years ago. <laughs> oh, All those dear mommy letters? I've been writing them myself. Well, with Ashley, my daughter's help. I, uh, I told her it was for a pen pal. <laughs> she's a real tearjerker, my Ashley. I really think she's got the stuff to be a writer one day. You know, she wrote this poem in the third grade. Made me and the wife fall like babies. Hey, 
He's alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm a fucking taxi driver. Show him to his new home. Pull through that! Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. Anita. Are you okay? Do you think this is easy? Being the first woman in the Golden Bath? The one pushing for change while everybody else talks behind your back about how you're destroying their heritage? I am every bit the fighter, the kirati that they are, but they... they just see a woman. You're a smart man, Ajay, tell me. Am I the right person for this? Sabal, he's got all these supporters, and I just, I just keep thinking, are they blind? Or am I just... missing the point? No, indecision is for the weak. Okay. Remember that tea plantation? The poppies, they've been shipped to an old brick factory for processing. Sabal wants to destroy it, he's so sure of himself. And you want to capture it? Exactly. That's everything we need to plan for the future while he's stuck in the past. I say yes, he says no. But I'm hoping you will be the one to do the right thing. I'll do it. I was hoping you'd say that. I need you to take Noah's brick factory without destroying it. We'll put it to good use later. Ajay, be careful, huh? It's very well guarded. Ajay, Amita said you'd be along. Stock up on the ammo. The Havidar is waiting for you up the hill. Are you Havildar? What you'd call Sergeant, yes. The factory uses generators to make the air breathable. Destroy them, and you force the soldiers out. Whatever you do, keep damage to a minimum. One more thing. The chief chemist who runs the facility, he used to be one of us. Amita wants him dead. Where are the damn generators? I'm surprised you don't hear the damn things. They're noisy.
ascension to the gods with that giant blaze. You're not making any sense. We're laying the explosive now. Get out while you can. Yeah. Yeah, I just, uh... I think I was hallucinating. That's the fumes, but you're okay now. I can't tell you what this means. Thanks to you, Kirat has a future. If Sabal wasn't so busy looking backwards, he'd see that too. We don't even have one mention of our war. Come on, man, give us a... Mr. Gale, we have been watching you. It's time we meet. Further instructions will be provided when you reach these coordinates. You're a drug peddler! That's what you are! Who do you remind me of? Oh, yes. Pagan. <laughs> I'm like Pagan because I have a vision for Kirat. I'm trying to take us out of your third world bullshit. It's our history, our culture, our traditions. Tradition? Like what? Marrying little girls, is that it? Is that your big plan for Badra? Oh, go for it. Go ahead, show Ajay what kind of man you are. I don't answer to you. It's Noor's turn. At least we agree on that. She didn't have a choice. Pagan forced Noor to do those things. He had her family. And how many families did she kill to save her own? Doesn't matter why she did it. She has to pay. Just like everyone else. I'll decide what happens to Noor.
my family. I'm sorry, Noor. No. No. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Egan. Egan had them killed years ago. I don't need your pity. I want my family back. Look, I'm sorry, but you're free now. <laughs> free. Free. Free from what? All the people I've killed? From everything I've done? <laughs> I gave them this taste for blood. Your blood. Mine. Isn't that what you want? More blood! Here! Now I'm free. Still alive, shitbags! Hang on, my friend! I know you're angry, you stole us, but what he did for the Lyrian body! He means trouble, and it's Yogi, you cunt! I still want to shoot you both. Uh, listen, I don't blame you for wanting to put a hole in Reggie here. We're trapped in this bloody country, like you, or I can nick your passport, and they're getting us to fuck other folks, like you! And we can't go back to India after that incident with the cow. Cows, uh, right, cows, uh, oh, so many cows. Did you hear this 10 million hits on YouTube so far? Really? Yeah, it was, okay, look, 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 we, 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 we thought no one wanted to parlay. We didn't think she was gonna throw you in the arena naked. Yes, we did, that's why you bet against him. I only technically bet against him. I, I was trying to cover the spread, my old China. He means mate. I, however, had no doubt. I bet on you, mate. Check it out. Which I'm more than willing to split with you. 60-40. Uh, 40-60. 40-40. Right, just take the whole lot. You deserve it. Fighting with your tackle flip-flopping about. Yeah. Oh, we're very impressed. With his tackle? With his fighting tit, he was very gladiator. I would say more 300. I want you two gone. I want you out of my house. I'm taking it back. And if you ever... We'll shoot Donald together. It's Yogi. Smoke? Leave. Right. Just, just give us a second to pack. Yeah, we're nesters. It's a bit of a mess. <sighs> but first... So what used to be here? One of those thankers? Yes, clever clocks. What happened to it? Now that is a story worth telling. Yeah, drugs, intrigue, danger, it's all there. I just want the short version. Fine, the short version. We were new arrivals in Kairat. 
Fresh off the boat, so to speak. Yes, and we were eager to sample the local horticulture scene. Very eager. We were not disappointed. No, not in the slightest. And it was all thanks to an, uh, a kindly old guru who helped open our minces. Right. That day, we reached a level of herbal nirvana unlike any other. When it was all said and done, we asked the guru who his supplier was. That's when we heard of Shangri-La. Shangri-La. <laughs> it's like a... The ghost of ancient Kyrat. Ancient Kyrat. And yeah, it's, it's more like the ghost that never was. So it's like Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's Kyrat. <laughs> Guys, the short version, right? Right, back on track. Um, so the guru told us that he had journeyed to a story place, and when he was there, he nipped a few buds. <sighs> This was all made possible through a mystical thanka that hung on this very wall. So what happened to it? Uh, it was torn to pieces and scattered throughout Kaira by persons unknown. Yeah, right, but not to worry. The old geezer sold us a map that ah. led to a cave not far from right, here. Right, a cave with a scary door. Right, really scary. As much as we wanted to chase that dragon, the door had a certain uh, do not enter sort of quality to it. So where's the map? I think we used it as a rolling paper, but no worries. The, the cave is easy to find. You just head west from it. Yeah, right. And when you find a door with a really scary face on it, you know you're in the right place. Oh, and bring us back a few buds, yeah? नीचे घाटी में देखा और मुझे लगा कि मैं पहुंच गया हूं बस मुझे कूदना था मैं जवान था कृति राजा के योद्धा के रूप में मैंने सिर्फ अभी अपना नाम कमाया था कालीनाग मुझे राजा के रक्षक के रूप में प्रतिक्षित किया गया था लेकिन मुझे थोड़े अलग ही काम के लिए चुना गया मुझे भेजा था धरती के स्वर्ग शैंग्रीला को ढूंढने के लिए आपका टांका असंभव को कैसे दिखा सकता है इस स्वर्ग का गवाह बनने का सिर्फ एक ही रास्ता है इसमें रहना रास्ता लंबा और कठिन रहा मैंने बहुत कुछ देखा किया लेकिन मैं चाहता हूं कि ऐसा किसी और के साथ कभी ना हो लेकिन मैं मूर्ख था जो सोचता था कि स्वर्ग दुखों से मुक्त होता है शेर ने बहुत खून खराबा देखा था वो एक दूसरी दुनिया से था एक रक्षक
जंगल में भयंकर लड़ाई हुई थी शेर अपने घर की रक्षा कर रहा था लेकिन किससे शैतानों ने शैंग्रीला पर आक्रमण किया इस धरती के नहीं साफ मन के नहीं कोई खुद या कोई चीज अपने लिए शैंग्रीला को चुराना चाहती थी से लौट आया मेरी जिंदगी बचाने के लिए नहीं बल्कि एक सहयोगी पाने के लिए पकड़ो से मैं प्रार्थना के पहियों के साथ बड़ा हुआ हूं लेकिन इनको देखकर ऐसा लगा कि ये देवताओं के लिए बनाए गए हो वो इतने बड़े थे कर रहा था और अपनी रक्षा के लिए मेरा मार्गदर्शन कर रहा था था तो मेरे पिता मुझे शैंग्रीला की घंटियों की कहानियां सुनाया करते थे उनकी धवानियां धरती से बुराइयों को दूर करती थी वो मुझे चेतावनी देते थे तुम अपने माता पिता का कहना नहीं मानोगे तो घंटियों की धुआनियां तुम्हें ढूंढ देंगी मैं उनसे बहुत डर जाता था इस भय का शिकार मैं अकेला ही नहीं था He's back in the world of the living. 
How'd I get here? Ah. I'm okay. Uh, he, he walked in holding that thing up. Right, and then you put it up in a frame here and then curled up on the floor for a kip. Yeah. You're in a trap. You're speaking a weird language. <laughs> so what happened? I don't know, but it was fucking weird. Mm. Was that here when you moved in? Oh, this? I was told that it's a Gale family heirloom, been passed down for generations. Did I not mention that earlier? No, you didn't. Oh. I did ask for the short version. Right, and we asked you to grab some of that wacky back here, eh? Uh, did you find any? I was a little busy. Right, but yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, yeah. Next time. But, you do come across that thanker. Keep us in mind. Right, well, we're off. We'll send someone back here to clean up the rest of our shit, all right? All right. <gasps> Toodles! Toodles! Hey, Jay Gale! Yeah? Son of Mohan Gale. Golden Path founder, shot dead. Raised by your mother stateside. Now back in Kirat to fulfill her final wish. Who is this? You can find that out after you help me land my bird at the airport. And why would I want to do that? You're in this to fight the good Hello? Are you still there? Ah, great. I'm at the airport. Good. I did a flyby earlier and spotted some snipers. Clear them out. And remember, we have a common enemy. Taking out Pagan's men will make it easier to secure the airport for your Golden Path comrades. Right. One more thing. You'll need to keep a low profile, like a Republican living in San Francisco. No alarms. Don't get spotted, period. I've got a meeting with the commander stationed at the airfield, and I don't want him to know I have an ace up my sleeve. Once you're done, call me. Okay, it's safe to land now. I took out the snipers. Nice work. I'm coming in for a landing. Get to the control tower and call me when you're there. I'm in position. Stay there and watch my back. I've got a quick little sit down to deal with before we can chat. This meeting goes south. I'll give you a signal. What kind of signal? When I say Reaganomics, open fire and don't stop till all the bad guys are gone. Reaganomics? Okay. I'm gonna keep this channel open, but stay quiet. I don't need any distractions. This guy could be a little jumpy. Got it? Got it. Good. Here we go. Got the goods right here, just like you asked for. Change of plans. What's that now? I said change of plans. Yuma wants me to bring you in. You kidding me? You can't do that. We had a deal. You and your plane aren't going anywhere. I'm taking you to Yuma. Well, let's try to work something out, okay? There's nothing to work out here, buddy. Where I come from, a deal's a deal. You can't just change things up. It's un-American. I've had enough of this. Familiar with Reaganomics? It was a sound policy that ensured the fiscal future of the United States. You I'm taking fire! Look alive up there! Bad guys coming in from the north! Get on it!
provide overwatch. Ah, great! They've got a chopper! By the lack of gunshots and explosions I'm hearing, I'd say you're in the clear. Come find me in the warehouse so we can finally get some face time. Twenty-five years and I still can't figure out if that smell is bad sanitation or just the abject loss of hope. I don't smell anything. Point keeping up with that facade anymore. So who are you? Well, look at you. American on the inside and useful on the outside. You're the perfect wolf in sheep herder's clothing. Way better than the SoCal douchebag I had to babysit at my last stop. You're both patriots, though. Both the type that'll put your hand over your gosh darn heart when you hear the Star Spangled Banner at a Fourth of July ball game. <laughs> useful on the outside? I work for Langley, Agent Willis Huntley. Langley, as in... CIA. Everything you need to know about who killed your father is in that file. What file? The one in the plane that's about to take off. Shit. Hey, you're gonna need this. Yeah, and it doesn't tell me shit. Redacted. You want to know more? Keep your mouth shut and help me with the job. Then I pull off more of those black bars. Fine. What's the job? I'm here to bring down Pagan Min and Yuma. Something the locals can't seem to pull off. I thought you people were good at waging guerrilla warfare. You people? Golden Path's waging the wrong kind of fight. I'm here to show them how it's done. Step one, hand him the airport. Step two, recruit the services of one A.J. Gale. That's you. Meet me back here when you're ready. Oh, and don't mention our little arrangement to the Golden Path. They're not in the need-to-know column. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta hit the crapper. Pardon my French. Jesus Christ, it's just a freaking hole in the ground. All this? It's all fucking useless. What, you forget you're an American? Americans knock. Where's the original journal? I told you, the more work you do for me, the more little black bars get put out to pasture. <sighs> Come on. Get in, I'll give you a teaser. Consider it a down payment. All right, let's hear it. When I first recruited your old man, it was over a bottle of scotch and a seedy dive down in Tirtha. He was still working for pagan men then. His eyes were still moist and sparkling. 
Min iced the heir to the karate throne. The feces hit the fan, my friend. Pardon my French. What? No, 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 no. I, I, I can't Don't hear worry. you. Don't worry. It'll be in the document I give you when you finish this job. That night, your mom left Karat. All the knives were out. Here, as I hear told, Yuma's in the middle of it. You want answers? All paths lead to her. So what do you know about her? She's Pagan Min's second in command. Came in with him from Hong Kong. Triad connections up the Yin Yang. You know what that is, don't you? Yin Yang? Sure you do. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing here? We're going after one of Yuma's sites and the man running it. Take him out, we'll be able to get Yuma to sing us a tune. took care of Yuma's lieutenant. Are you sure you got the right one? How am I supposed to know if he's the right one? Take a picture of him and send it to me. No dice, kid. That's not your man. The guy you're looking for is supervising Yuma's archaeological dig. Tell you what, just clear out every guy in the area who looks like he could be in charge of anything more important than cleaning bathrooms and washing dishes. Nothing's more American than killing them all and letting God sort them out. Call me when you're done. found a key on one of the bodies. I'm out of metals, kid. Call me when the commander is dead. Wait, how am I supposed to get out of here? Pucker up, Buttercup. I'll be back when you need a lift.
Tuckle. You get him? Yeah, I got him. Good. I'll head over and pick you up once I finish my breakfast. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find bacon in these parts. Will us out. Thanks for flying the unfriendly skies, Buttercup. Once I find another loose thread on Yuma, I'll be in touch. A word to the wise, Archer. Next time you need something lanced, employ the services of a professional. As scarce as those services may be around here. Did you know because of your mother, I sponsored an entire class of students to study medicine in Singapore, and they never came back. Can you believe the depth of that ingratitude? Paul dealt with their families here in Kirat, and I had my contacts in Singapore track them down and find a fitting end for each of them, yes. Uh, well, as satisfying as that was, I now find myself balancing my own boils. Gary! Bring me some doors and some fucking antiseptic ointment! Oh, now the enemy knows it. Can you not mumble when you talk? AJ, good timing. I'm just finishing up here. This is it. My last job for you. You're on the ten-yard line now. Get in. Hold on to that. I just drank a bucket of coffee. I'm gonna need it soon. Jesus. I'm gonna lay down some truth for you, and it's not gonna be pretty. Your dad tried to kill your mom because she was about to walk away from everything. The golden path, Kirat, the cause. But what? Fact. Your mom was a Kuna Matata, or whatever the heck they call the young girls. Fact. Your mom was spying on Pagan, even though she liked the guy. Fact. Your father was a patriot, and I've never met a patriot who isn't a son of a bitch. As for the rest of it, another of Yuma's lieutenants needs doing. Take care of it! picture. Good stuff. Meet me at the bottom. Enjoy the ride. the target yeah yeah I took care of him are we going after you now consider this information your last paycheck 
You've been killing CIA assets this entire time. We're cleaning house. Hagen no longer represents a clear and present danger to the U.S. We needed to erase our footprint with your rat. You did a damn fine job of it! So everything you told me is a lie. What I said about your mom and your old man, all that was true. What I told you about Yuma... You can ask her yourself! What the fuck are you doing, man? Sorry, kid, but like I told you, every patriot I know is a son of a bitch! You left the bag on his head? Well, can he breathe? Did you at least punch holes so he doesn't suffocate? Hello! Did we enjoy our time with the CIA? Welcome to Degesh. I apologize for the Spartan accommodations, but you have been a naughty little shit, haven't you? Gallivanting about with a golden path. And poor Paul. Are you still sore about what he did with your little monkey friend? What was his name? Uh, deadpan, dipshit, doorknob? I... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for your ennui. But let me ease him into this humor. You're about to mind fuck the poor boy. Perhaps a little sugar on your shit sandwich? Whatever. You've seen him. He's still breathing. Now go away. I've got work to do. Fine, fine, fine. But I want him alive. With all the bits that count intact. But one last thing. Now, RJ, I know this is hard. But consider this tough love. Prison love. After all, you have a suite with a spectacular view. Oh, and uh, one final piece of advice. I wouldn't sleep too close to the edge. Whatever you say. Get on the floor. Why? Get on the fucking floor! I'm on the floor. What are you doing? What is that? Ah. dream a lot of people fall around here most of them don't wake up that's what this place does to weak men it wasn't me AJ what I didn't kill Mohan, despite what you might have heard. If I could have killed anyone, it would have been Ishwari, your whore of a mother. Fuck you. Just give up. Jump, please. If you do, I'll scatter her ashes for you. People who carved this city into the rock were strong. Followers of Kalanag. They were a great civilization. Unlike the pathetic rabble Kairat is today. my king. I would have done anything for him. But then your mother led him astray. I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen. 
and his love for Ashwari eventually broke him. I found Kalanak. When I reach Sangrila, I will defeat Rakshasa, and I will be reborn, just as Kalanak was reborn. And I will accomplish what Vegan failed to do, and build a truly great here in Cairo! Oh, my God. 
Anita. Hey. He's up. Congratulations, you're officially the luckiest man I know. I searched for you for a week in enemy territory. A good thing we found you before you froze to death. Where's Sabal? Probably doing what he does best. Sitting in a dark room, praying to dead gods for your safe return. <laughs> I've been watching you for three days, but you're awake now and you seem okay. I uh, have to go. There's still a war going on. Sabal was right about one thing. The Golden Path needs you. And I'm happy to have you with me. something for me? I do. We've been able to free the people of the South, but the North has been cut off from us because of King's Bridge. It is time to take the battle to Pagan's doorstep and free the North. Now, the bridge is heavily defended. The main gate is made of blast-resistant concrete. Forget C4 or conventional explosives. The defenses will shred any frontal attack. So what do we do? I have a plan. There's a convoy with a chemical truck. I want you to secure it, drive it down their throats, and blast open the gate. It'll take us into the north, and you'll be one step closer to Yuma. Amita, I reached the spot. I'm ready. Ajay, it's good to hear your voice. I was starting to worry. The convoy should be coming in from the southwest. They'll be there any moment. Good luck. I got the truck. I'm heading to the gate. Ajay, this is the closest we've been to the north in, in years. Thank you. And it goes without saying, good luck and please, don't get yourself killed.
Mita, I captured the bridge. I'll patch you through. That's fantastic news, Ajay. Shit, hold on. Ajay, enemies are inbound from the north. It's the Royal Guard, Pekinmin's elite. They're tough, but, but you can't let them retake the bridge. Okay, good luck. Ascension people of Kirat. Ajay Gale, hero of the Golden Bar, has captured the bridge separating us from our lost comrades in the north. This is a historic day for the liberation of our country and a blow against Fagan Min's tyranny. All forces move in to secure the bridge. Freedom, and it's a road that will drive straight over Pig. Amita, I'm in the north. The north. I haven't seen Ukash in years. Listen, there's a golden bar to sell there. There's good people. Ukash is just north of the bridge, and this cell, they know the area better than anyone. I'd appreciate it if you could reconnect with them, but be careful. You've seen the royal guard. They're tougher and smarter than the regular armed forces. They're waiting for you downstairs. Ajay, thank you for reuniting us with the Golden Path in the south. You can tell Amitha and Sabal we are ready to fight. They have targets picked. You have a lovely, hey, lovely home. No! It's my family. Very charming. Oh, this. Oh, I like this. Is this mahogany? Hmm. And look at you. A lovely couple to match a lovely home. Very salt of the earth. You know, I was told that if I ever wanted to experience the hospitality of Utkash, that I had to visit the Ranas. Oh, we questioned everyone, too. And everyone said the exact same thing. They are the friendliest. They will talk to anyone. To anyone, I say. To everyone, they say. Hmm. Well, they were so emphatic that I decided I had to see it for myself. <laughs> He's cute. You see, I uh, wanted to warn you. Warn us, sir? Yes. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard, but it's come to my attention that there are some very disreputable people around. And I'm concerned that these people, these terrorists, well, they might take advantage of your hospitality. Maybe ruin your wonderful reputation. And we wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? No, sir. Would you allow me to protect you? To ensure your reputation? Please, yes, Kingman. Your wish is my command. <laughs> I'm so glad we could agree on this. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, this should only take a moment. And they say I've lost touch with my subjects.
No! They'll kill you! I'm getting pagan. Amita! I found Pagan! I'm on his heels! Okay, you could end it right now! I know! I just killed you! No, no, you just ruined a perfectly good body double with hair loss. Do you know how expensive he was to make? He wasn't even Asian, for Christ's sake. He was from Melbourne, I think. His only crime was being born with fabulous cheekbones. Whose picture do you think's on the money? No matter what's done is done, I suppose next time it'll just be you and me. Just in time. Pagan's broadcast is starting. What's this about? No clue, brother. But we're going to find out. Good people of Kirat. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the reports of my death are completely and utterly inaccurate. I am alive, and all is right in the world. That life brings change. And I implore you, Kirat, to look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength. And it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. Miss Knorr and Paul Deplore, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lao, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Sounds like he's calling us out. The mines. You know what to do. I've spent a lot of my life apologizing for Yuma's first impressions. 
She has a remarkable ability to make consistently terrible introductions. I'd love for you two to meet on better terms. She really has been the driving force behind most of my successes. She forges deals with my international buyers. She uh, polices Noor and Deplore. She even finds time to run my army. Well, that is until her recent obsession with Kirati superstition took a hold of her. She thinks I don't know about the expedition she's been sending up the mountains looking for magical paintings or whatever it is. I'm as open as the next fellow about negligible losses for the sake of employee morale, but only so many pins can go missing from the stationary cupboard before someone has to lose a hand. like you to kill me after everything I did for him before your whore of a mother came along he was fearless nobody could stand up to him then your mother your mother I want you to go into every room and find every child. Every child will be in their care to me. God. She weakened his resolve. She turned him into this simpering shell of a man. He stopped being a king that day. He was broken. Weak. If you love Kira. You got me. What the hell? Let's stop playing this game. Shokwa. We both know what you really want. No, don't. 
choice in bed. Pagan would never do himself. Time to kill you and mix your mother's asses in pig's law. <laughs> Mira, you must dead. Oh, you killed the demon of Durgesh. Don't worry, Ajay. Bacon is next. Hey, Badra. Hi. Or should I call you Tarumutara? Badra is good. For now. What's wrong? Whoever captures Jalandu Temple will lead the Golden Path. The future of Kirat is at stake, and I'm caught between Amita and Sabal. You've seen them fight. You know how they are. Amita wants to destroy the temple. She says that this will free the women of Kirat and break us away from outdated traditions like the Tarun Matara. I thought Tarun Matara was a good thing. <laughs> Sabal thinks it is. If he captures the temple, he'll complete the ceremony and make me Tarun Matara. He says that embracing our traditions is what will make us stronger. And what do you want to do? I want to free Kirat. But I can't choose on my own. Amit and Sabal will never agree, so... This leaves you, RJ. You've made a difference here. The Golden Path will listen to you. But you have to understand. That whoever you back at Jalandu will become the unquestioned leader of the Golden Path. And once Pagan is defeated, they will control Kirat as well. Okay. I think I know what I have to do. Thank you. told me about your plan to take down Jalandu. This isn't just about destroying the temple. This is about sending a message to everyone. 
It's a new day for Kirat. We're no longer shackled to the past. Without the Tarun Matara, we will expose Sabal for what he really is. A simple-minded fool, squatting on ruins. We'll take everything valuable so we can melt it down and sell it. But the temple itself... I want you to crush it into dust. Ajay, before you bring the temple down, find and secure the vault with the gold. If you need assistance, there's Golden Path fighters ready to help you. Soldiers I trust. Thanks, Amita. Ajay, we're ready to assault the base when you are. You can hop on board and come with us, or you can take your own way in, and we'll move in once the shooting starts. I'm done with the explosives. <laughs> I wish I was there to see their faces when the fireworks go off. Well done, Ajay. The boats are loaded and we're ready to go. We're just waiting on you. Done, Amita. Thank you, Ajay. <laughs> Sabal's no longer in control, and Badra is safe from all of that sick Tarun Matara bullshit. And now, we have the gold to dig ourselves out of this fucking hole he wanted to leave us in. Oh, it is a new day for Kirat. But that's not going to happen in this war. You're fine, I promise you. Sabal's gone, Badra. You're safe. No more Tarun Matara. Take her back to the camp. I don't know where Sabal is, and I don't trust him. What's this about Sabal? Not now. We have bigger problems. Bagan's about to hit Utkash with artillery. We can't let that happen. Destroy those cannons before they wipe Utkash off the map. 
I'm on it. Adam's gone and she's in charge. It's going to be amazing. Somebody better bring the so you, you must know. evacuate that town. I'm not evacuating on your say so. They missed. I repeat, they missed. You hear that? Sabal, get the soldiers out. I am not abandoning. They're bracketing our position. Clear the channel. First gun secured. How am I supposed to destroy it? Focus on the soldiers. Help is on the way. Direct hit! Direct hit! Soldiers of the Golden Path, I am ordering you to evacuate. Hold your position! Damn it, Sabal! That's the last one. So where's that help? They're almost at your position. As if we got soldiers right behind us. Ajay, protect the sappers heading your way. They will disable the guns. Said, you're in the clear. They would have flattened Utkash if it wasn't for you. <sighs> I don't think people really know how much they owe you, Ajay. You've earned yourself a break, <laughs> but a small one. If you have any unfinished business left, I suggest you take care of it. Kirat will need your undivided attention for this final push. Where is everyone? At the Kalesh. We're getting ready for the final push. This is it. Win or lose. Sabal is splitting the Golden Path. He's jeopardizing our future, Ajay. Enough is enough. Are you asking me to... I'm telling you to kill him. I'm being very particular with my words, Ajay. Don't let him snake out of this. Besides, did you really think he was going to be okay with you betraying him and siding with me? No. We can't afford to let Sabal live. Ajay, be careful. The Golden Path needs you. I need you. Oh, Ajay, I can almost see your furrowed brow from here. 
Hagen, what do you want? Tone? I'm merely calling to check up on you. I hear your little friends are having a bit of a spat. It must be hard. What with you in the middle of it all? Choices are difficult. Trust me, I've been there. In fact, you should be grateful for the choices I've made. Choices like you, man. I went on live television to serve her up to you, and I know television. Radio is so much more my thing. And you, oh, you jumped on the opportunity. Poor human, she will be missed. It was a tough call to make, picking you over her. But it was the right call. We'll see. Of course, you're in a hurry, places to go, shit to tear up. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. But don't forget, RJ, choices have consequences. RJ, I want you to know I did not make this decision lightly. Sabal will never give up on his beliefs. And if he's allowed to live, it will only be a matter of time before he starts an insurgency of his own. Killing him will help to unify the Golden Path and prevent a second civil war from breaking out moments after we end our current struggle against Pagan. This is what's right for Kirat. When the time comes to pull the trigger, I trust you'll make the right decision. sent you, brother? Did you volunteer? What do you think you're doing? You shit on everything your father built. Congratulations. Everything that meant something is irrelevant thanks to you. And that's what's truly sad, brother. You handed over everything to a meter. To a meter? You think she can fix Kirat? How? Drug fields as far as the eye can see. Suicide nets in factory towns where men, women, and children are free to be poor? It's a land of equal opportunity where everyone's a slave. Do you think this is the country your mother wanted her ashes to be scattered in? So what's it going to be, brother? Go. Gone, brother. Care of Sabal. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, RJ. It, it had to be done. And that doesn't make it any easier, does it? Okay. There'll be time to deal with this later. Right now, we have a country to save. She'll make a good leader. Kirat needs new blood. RJ, we've been waiting for you. Everybody is rallying for one final push. We're hitting Pagan's fortress. It won't be easy. I heard about Sabal. Whatever you're feeling, just know that Amita only wants what's best for Kira. Death to Pagan men!
Gates open. I'm heading for the palace. The royal guards counterattacking. We'll be there as soon as we can. I'm going after Pagan. Come in. But I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot them on your way in. Now, before we begin... Ah, to whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized, enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Ah. Stay here, enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I'll be right back. Now, if you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen, decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. But I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I call a do-over. Hmm? I say you have two choices. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes together. So, 
Who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amitabh? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. My goodness, boy, you didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I suppose you could take it back. You're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. At least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. You do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre-Kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Huh. Yes, your father killed your half-sister, and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. God damn if it isn't fun. Well, you finally made it. You know the one and only time I walked into this place? Came in a sane man and came out. Like this. You. You will come out a king. Well, go on, men. Do what you came here to do.